Hey everybody, welcome to Franny's Square and to episode 13 of Show and Tell, where it's all about you. So before we get started, just a quick rundown of what to expect this week. Tomorrow I will be choosing the winner of the birthday bash giveaway. So if you haven't entered that yet, Make sure you head over and enter. I'll put a link right here. I'm giving away 58 skeins of yarn. Also coming this week is part three of our fall fireside Afghan crochet along. We'll be adding another stitch and doing three more sides of the blanket. Remember to keep your suggestions coming for stitches as well as any other ideas you have for the crochet along. We're designing as we go. Also, I had the chance to use the Bernat Blanket Ogo yarn. I made this free pattern. It's a basket, hanging basket, and I'll be doing a flash review of the yarn, including what I think of the packaging of the yarn. Also, I've been doing a little bit of yarn shopping, so I will be having an unboxing slash unbagging of yarn. And in the midst of all of that, I may be dropping a few tutorials on quick and easy one skein wonders for the fall. Okay, so I think that's what's coming up for this week. Now let's get to your projects. Our first submissions come from Deanna Stith. And if you remember Deanna, she's fairly new to crocheting, but boy, is she prolific. Take a look at these projects. First, she said, I made a mandala with three weight yarn and a hula hoop. It was quick and fun to make. It's my first one. I've been looking at them for a while, but was intimidated to make it. Bucket list check off, LOL. What a beautiful job. I love those colors, Deanna. And the beads you used and the tassels or feathers hanging. Really beautiful. Next, she said, this is my Halloween inspired shawl. It was a bit difficult turning a circle into a triangle, but I like the result. Don't know if I'll ever make another. I love the colors, very Halloween. And I love that spiral in the center and how you did turn that into a triangle. Awesome job, and look at the fringes, beautiful. Next, she said, my peace sign poncho, all made from cotton. I wore this out the other day and was so surprised how many people commented on it. I'm an old gypsy slash hippie. My style isn't always the norm, LOL, but it seemed to be a big hit. And who is that model there? Is that your boyfriend? I love the poncho, love the colors. And the peace signs almost look like they are roots of a tree. Very nice. Next, she says, I'm calling this my new house coat, but I guess it could be worn anytime. I was twirling, so it looks a little wonky, LOL. I love it. Looks great. And this certainly is not your grandmother's house coat. This is a house coat with style. Love it. Next, she said, my first pumpkin ever. His face isn't the best, but he is huge. He took three bags of polyfill. That is a lot of polyfill. Wow, look at how big he is. I love it. And I love the little uh, curly cues for the hair. Next, she said... I made my Frenchie Bulldog, fancy pants, <laughs> a fall coat. She loves it and wants to keep it on. I'll be making her another for winter, but more of a hoodie type. <laughs> she really looks like she loves it. That's great. I love the colors. And I asked Deanna which yarn she used for this, and she said she used Loops and Threads Dazzle. Next, she said, I'm making my first ever granny square, going to make them into a coat. I love the sparkle. Very nice. I can't wait to see the coat that you make out of this. Next, she said, I made my boyfriend a hat and cowl from wool. He's a deer hunter and requested chunky wool. He was so excited he wore it around the house. That makes my heart happy. It's so great when people appreciate the work you put into things. And what a great hat and cowl. I'm sure that will keep him warm. And then finally, Deanna submitted some work of her sister's. She said, my sister Carol Gazdag has been working on amigurumi crochet. I think she's doing a great job. I had her make me Claude the octopus. I told you I was unconventional, LOL. Look at that octopus, that is unreal. Wow. Oh my goodness, and the bottom side of it too? Wow, Carol, great job. 
and she made this kitty and bed for a little girl's birthday present. And look at how cute the little kitty in the bed is with the necklace, the collar or the necklace. Very fancy little kitty. Adorable. Thank you so much for sending those in. The next submission comes from Lisa Mayen, one of our regulars. Take a look. She said, I've been busy with getting my displays and stuff ready for the arts and craft market. Got the table and display stands, business cards, price tags, etc. I did manage to finish one hat and scarf set and my first felted hat. You will notice I added a few extra pictures. You don't have to put them on the video. I am just a proud mom of my daughters. My youngest does the felted animals and I was blown away by the details. They are absolutely amazing. Wow, the details are amazing. My middle daughter does some crochet and some wood burning and painting art. The Afghan is her temperature Afghan and the other picture is her wood burning with watercolors. Wow, that Afghan is great. I love the temperature blankets. I never got around to making one of those. And look at that painting. That's amazing. Well done, beautiful work and I love the color choices and I love that it's on a piece of wood. Very talented family, Lisa. Thank you so much for sending all those pictures in. The next adorable submission comes from Luis Santo. She says, hi Franny, here's my finished Happy Fall Gnome Basket. The hat comes off to reveal the basket. I was going to give it as a gift, but after ripping out the hat at least three times, I figured I earned this one. You sure did. It was a pattern that introduced me to a new stitch, star stitch. Besides a new stitch, I had a hard time understanding the pattern, or I should say reading the pattern correctly. The only part that made it my own was the button for the nose. My husband wisely suggested that I could fill the basket with more yarn. Now that is a wise husband. <laughs> and I love it. And I love the button. Is that cork? It really goes nicely with the feel of the basket. I love that. The next submission comes from Brenda McChristie. She said, this throw was made with Lion Brand Landscapes yarn. I love landscapes colorways. It reminds me of Unforgettable also. And this one is a beautiful fall colorway. And I love the tassels to just set that off nicely. And here are some hats Brenda makes. She says she usually gives them for gifts or for charity. I love all the different colors, sizes, and shapes. Thank you so much for sending that in, Brenda. Next, Misty Dawn is doing the Fall Fireside Afghan Crochet Along and she's making it her own. Take a look. She said, I've never done anything like this before and I like it, but I went a totally different way, but we'll end up meeting you somewhere in the middle, I think. I kept looking at the pumpkin rectangle and the more I looked at it, the more I liked it. So I decided to do the same thing with the aligned cobblestone stitch. Took a bit of counting and measuring, but I got it. I'm now thinking I'll make a few of these and put them together for the first quarter of the blanket. I'm going to make at least six more logs, haha <laughs> logs, it's easier than saying rectangles. I'll take pictures of them all when I'm done. That's great, Misty. I can't wait to see what you do with this blanket. Thank you so much for sending that in and we'll be looking for your updates. The next submission comes from Connie Zachary. She is a new subscriber, so make sure you welcome her to our community. Take a look at her project. She said, hi Franny, I'm new to your channel. You just popped up in my feed and am I ever glad you did? Well, we are glad too. She's been crocheting since she was nine and she's now close to my age, which all of you know what age that is at this point. And she said, I'm sending a photo of my latest Afghan. This is beautiful. I love the colors and it's meticulously done. Thank you so much for sending that in, Connie, and we'll be looking for more of your work. The next submissions come from Beth. She said, this is project number one, a set of drink cozies, one for a classic Coca-Cola glass and one for a half liter water slash tea bottle. She did this in Lion Brand 24 seven cotton and she said, what a dream to work with in denim. She said, I learned a new stitch pattern in a tutorial by Crystal at Bag o Day. She showed us in rows. I crocheted a basic flat circle to fit the containers, then worked in a spiral and love how the texture looks. The stitch looks totally different when worked in rows versus the spiral, but I like the effect. 
I like that effect too. I think it looks really pretty. Then she sent me the same projects in another color using the same stitch and the same yarn except using a lilac color. She said it looks too pink in the photos. It's not actually that pink. She said it looks nice and purpley on the glass and bottle. She couldn't figure out how to increase the stitch pattern without damaging the texture slash appearance. So for the outward curve of the Coca-Cola glass, she simply switched up to a larger hook. The rest are made with 4.0 millimeters, so she went to a 5.0 millimeter. Great idea. Next, she sent these pot holders, and she said, I used my beloved Lion Brand 24-7 cotton in bay leaf green to crochet pot holders for my grandson, who didn't realize his mom folded crocheted dishcloths in half when she used them for hot things. Ouch. <laughs> she loves greens, and this is a particularly favorite shade of hers. The first is Thermal Stitch, my first Thermal Stitch project ever. I enjoyed it, although it is time consuming. I found a Tiffany Hansen video about a pot holder and copied her shell border rather unevenly. I hadn't started out with the same number of chains that she used and I didn't calculate very well. I did not frog it because no 16 year old boy will notice the wrong number of shells on a side. So true. I added a loop so he will be able to distinguish pot holders from dish cloths. But hey, it's my first pot holder ever, so it's got an oops in it. <laughs> I love that. I call my oopses design choices. <laughs> then in the same bay leaf green, an amusing pattern by Tiffany Hansen, crocheting in oval rounds around the beginning chain, then collapsing the finished piece so it forms a diamond shape, adding a loop and seaming up the center of the diamond. I used to do origami many years ago and it fascinated me to play with this weird shape created by going in the oval, so to speak, and ending up with a perfect square slash diamond. I loved being able to crochet one piece that gave me a double layer pot holder. What a great idea. This project, she said, this was supposed to be a pot holder in even moss stitch. Make two and edge them in single crochet, holding them together. However, I didn't have Lion Brand 24-7 cotton with enough for two layers. I had ordered premium home cotton for an amigurumi project and had two balls of turquoise, so I went with that. This was from a written pattern under Tiffany Hansen's video tutorial because I needed to multitask and crochet while catching up on videos. <laughs> I hate this yarn. I love this stitch pattern. It's very thick. I figure these bumps will scrub dishes wonderfully, so ta-da, I edged one square piece with single crochet and it's a dishcloth hence no loop for hanging I love that and then she also included one of the dainty old doilies that she made Edelweiss was the pattern name from a magic crochet magazine chart it was made with number 30 thin crochet thread and a very thin steel crochet hook and she said the doily is at least 35 years old that's amazing great projects beth thank you so much for sending all of those in the next submissions come from paula biamont take a look she said hi franny finally getting around to sharing some of my recent makes most of these are donations blue hats for lion brand yarns campaign hat not hate with the exception of one divine hat all patterns are by Crystal of Bag of Day Crochet. Great hats. I love all the different textures and patterns. Next, the Peach Baby Dress is also a Bag of Day Crochet pattern. It was donated to Rose Likes Crochet for wings for their doll clothes collection. This is my first baby outfit. I think there will be more in the future. That is so adorable, and I love the little flowers on the front. The assortment of hats and scarves are more donations for wings. I used a variety of patterns from different designers and a few just off the cuff and made up as I stitched. My first scarves too, which are easy and fun to make. Wow, that looks great. Wow, all of those are so great, and I love the ones with the eyeballs adorable and finally the brown lovey was made from odds and ends for which piece crafts scrap timber make along which was a fun project to use up scraps that's adorable it looks so great on that bear too thank you so much for sending those in paula your work is meticulous just beautiful. And finally, Dawn Nutter, who is working on the Fall Fireside Afghan Crochet Along, sent some progress pictures. Take a look. She said, hello, I am participating in the Fireside 
crochet along and attach some photos of my progress. They look awesome. And somebody looks comfy under the blanket there <laughs> already. <laughs> Adorable. Great job, Dawn. I can't wait to see yours as it progresses. Thank you so much for sending that in. Okay, those were the submissions for this week. Great job, everybody. I am so inspired and I look forward to seeing more of your work. If you'd like to participate in our show and tell, just send pictures and descriptions of your work to my email address at frannysquare at gmail.com. I compile the projects throughout the week and put them up on Sundays. Also, if you're working on the Fall Fireside Afghan Crochet Along, I'd love to see your progress, whatever you're doing. If you're making it your own or if you're following along exactly, I'd love to see what you're doing. So please send pictures of those in as well. Okay, as always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.